In an interview with Collider, Matt Reeves talked about the Batman Part 2, but went into a little bit more about the timing of the Batman 2. Reeves saw this as an opportunity to recalibrate and tell more of the man also known as Oswald Cobblepot's story. In a dedicated series without sacrificing the pacing of the trilogy, it's still the same kind of trajectory of story, Reeves explained, but the entry point for where Oz is now, that he's further along as we enter that story than he would have been if we had started that story in the movie instead of by doing a series. Reeves confirmed that the Penguin picks up a week after the event of the first film and tells a fairly compressed story itself. When asked about how long a period the series covers, Reeves said, the story plays out over the next week and takes you toward the end of the year. We don't play Christmas or New Year's, but we're getting there. It's the approach to storytelling that allows Reeves to flesh out the world of Gotham City while ensuring that Bruce Wayne's journey remains at the forefront of the film. So I'm pretty sure that the Batman's gonna pick up right from the Penguin. So if they're going till at least Christmas, that means it's gonna be in the winter time. That's what all the news outlets are reporting now that it's gonna be the winter time that this movie takes place. With the winter, snow comes. With snow, you know, there's ice, you know, you know where I'm going with this. Mr. Freeze, it's been rumored for a long time that Mr. Freeze, maybe not rumored, but it was fan casted, fan speculated, leaked, all these things, that Mr. Freeze would be, I don't know if he's the main villain, but a villain in the Batman part two. With them setting up the surroundings to be winter, wouldn't this make sense for Mr. Freeze to be introduced in the Batman part two? I don't know how they could do it more of a grounded Mr. Freeze, what they could do, but this could be really interesting. Let me know that down below if you want to see this.